With a new chief of air staff, Air Chief Marshal Zaire Ahmed Babar Sidhu, at the helm of the Pakistan Air Force, the service arm is looking ahead to its modernization pipeline for 2021. JF-17 Block 3 Having delivered 26 dual-seat JF-17B aircraft to the Pakistan Air Force, Pakistan Aeronautical Complex's aircraft manufacturing factory is focusing on the JF-17 Block 3. The Block 3 is the most significant update to the platform to date, and for the PAF, it will deliver a range of new technologies to its fleet. The most important new subsystem the PAF is expecting is the active electronically scanned array ESA, radar. The PAF selected an air-cooled version of the Chinese KLJ-7A radar, which reportedly offers a range of 170 km against fighter-sized targets. It can also track up to 15 targets at the same time and engage as many as four aircraft at once. However, the unique added benefit of an ESA radar comes from its 1000-plus transmit-receive modules, which allow for improved defensibility against enemy radar jamming. Next generation fighter aircraft. In March 2021, the PAF revealed that it is aiming to get its in-house next generation fighter aircraft, Project Azam, to fly in 2028. It is difficult to see how the PAF could achieve this target date, unless it was either working off a design that already exists, FC-31, or joins a consortium. In terms of the latter, Turkey had invited Pakistan to join the TFX. Interestingly, the PAF scheduled its target flight date of Azam in the same time frame as the TFX. The PAF is committed to building its UAV force. It seems to have inducted the Shopper, Burak, and Falco in respectable numbers. However, the development of the Shopper 2 and PAC, UAVs, both of them being medium altitude long endurance, male drones show a commitment to advance the capabilities and technical sophistication of Pakistan's drone forces in the coming years.